Uh, today we're here to talk about tips for transformative learning. And I really want to offer two tips for, for any of us that are uh, moving into our studies here at Cal Southern. Uh, the first tip has to do with what in the Eastern tradition is called beginner's mind. Um, this is the idea that, that even if we're coming at material with which we're familiar, um, that we approach it as if we're learning for the first time. This is really the well, way that children, we all as children, learn. And we tend to become kind of inured to this perspective and more jaded maybe, maybe more protective. And we approach material and immediately begin to categorize it into familiar um, uh, cubby holes. And beginner's mind would require for us to suspend that reflex and uh, approach material new or old as if for the first time. Um, maybe with a sense of wide-eyed wonder. Okay. The second tip I want to suggest is um, uh, moving our, our perspective um, from that of being a passive learner to being an, what I'm going to call an active mentor. What I mean by this is that, that any new material that I'm exposed to, let's say in reading that I've done this week, uh, a video that I've uh, viewed, a new website, is that I set out as my commitment to share that new information with somebody in my life within 48 hours of, of uh, taking in the new learning. What this does is it uh, does a couple things. One is that it, it uh, I think that it Im embeds that new learning, I, I think almost like in our muscle memory. If I share it with somebody, rather than just holding it within, it moves into a transaction that's much more likely to kind of seal the deal. I think secondly, it holds me accountable to translating, especially in psychology, translating uh, arcane theory and research, for example, translating it into English so that I can communicate it to the people that matter, which are my friends, my family, my clients. So those are the two tips. One is to approach learning uh, with an open mind, beginner's mind. The second is to take a stance of being much more active in the learning than we might typically want to be, and that is to move from being a passive learner to being an active mentor. I just had a conversation with a friend that takes this also, this last point about active mentoring to another level, a more pragmatic level, and I want to share it. That is that translating what I'm reading, studying, learning for the first time from beginner's mind, let's hope, Translating that by speaking it uh, ver uh, verbally to somebody in my life. It can be a friend, it can be a work associate, it can be a fellow student, it can be my professor, it can be, uh, if I'm working counsel in counseling, it can be a client. Translating it into my own language facilitates my doing better on exams, facilitates, I think, retention as well as expressing what it is that I learned. So it's good practice, and maybe that's the cash value of this uh, idea of active mentoring. Thank you.